Hello fellow motorized bike friends and family. This is Tony here from BikeBerry. So uh, today I have a real treat for you. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go through all the different heads that are available. Um, that's high compression head, CNC head, standard heads that come with the bike, and really just tell the truth about their performance. Cause we have, I got a pressure gauge right here. So a, co a compression gauge, sorry about that. Uh, and then we're gonna do a heat test because I think that's what's most important because in my gut, uh, a lot of the compression isn't gonna be that different, but I think the heat's gonna be a big difference and that's life of the motor right there. So, you know, life of your engine is probably if it gets hot and how that heat affects it, uh, compression, you know, we're just gonna see what they all are and, you know, compare them. So that way, you know, for your buying, you know, like when you're looking at different types, what is the best one to get for you? So let's dive right into it. All right, here's the drill. So we're gonna start at the mailbox with a cold start. So that means we're gonna take the bike, we're gonna change out the head, and then we're gonna ride down the road here. The sun's kinda on me, isn't it? We're gonna ride down the road here. It's a half a mile stretch before it hits a main road, okay? We're gonna ride, cold cold start, ride down the end of the road, go on to the main road, take the first right. Now that is about a one mile stretch, so that gives the engine plenty of time to heat up. And then we'll do a temperature check, we'll come back. And then what we'll do is we'll do a compression check. I'll put a, the compression uh, gauge on it and we'll ride up and down just this little stretch and that'll give us a compression reading. So that's gonna be the routine, it'll be those two things. And then at the end of the video, what I'll do is I'll give you my feeling about each one and what my experience was. So let's roll. Let's start out with the standard CNC head that comes with the kit. It's uh, one of my favorites. It has really performed well on this bike and really, uh, you know, kept it nice and cool. Uh, the bike just keeps running better and better, but here's the results. So up here is the ashtray model, as you can see, <laughs> model's an ashtray. Uh, I'm not sure about heat dissipation on this one. I mean, you know, I guess it all goes up, you know, from the engine and then out these sides, you know, we'll see. I'm gonna heat test it, but yeah, let's see what it does. Next up is this flat pancake style head. Now, we'll have to see what the temperature reading is on it, but you know, um, it's way more low profile than the other ones. Gives you a lot of clearance between, you know, your top tube and your, your engine here. So, let's see how it works. Next up is the double spark head. 
just the cast kind. So <laughs> I thought just to have fun, we'll put it in the mix here. We'll see what the compression is for it, what its heat range is, all that jazz. And we'll get to see how the double spark performs. All right, I had very low, let's say, expectations of this double spark plug. <laughs> um, maybe, I mean, I, ha I had a bad spark plug, so I had to change it out. And I put, you know, the good one in. I fired it up. So maybe it was warm already, but it took off, I don't know. It took off like it was already warm. It had good acceleration at the beginning like I hadn't experienced. I don't know. There's something to this. I just so you saw that that truck just passed me. It kind of startled me a little bit. I lost my uh, rear view mirror and I was so <laughs> focused on the bike that like its performance was kind of surprising me. And I don't get surprised that easy. Like, like I had low expectations for it, right? But then, when after that, I was kind of getting over what the truck passing me, and I looked down. And I'm doing over 35, which I've only hit a burst of 35, not 36, 37, like I was doing. I don't know. We're going to have to dive deeper into this. I know <laughs> I know the the double spark plug thing has kind of been shown, but we're going to dive deep into it. But as far as this test, I'm impressed. All right, so the final one is the stock head. So we're just gonna do it as a comparison because that's the most basic one that people would have. That way you know how it rolls. What a ride that was. So we got that one on there as our last and final one. But what we'll do now is we're going to just run through uh, all of our, you know, <laughs> our contenders, right? The standard head. Okay, so my feelings about this one it has great heat dissipation. As you saw the results, I'll post them here. We'll put them in a, you know, in order. Um, great head. It's the go-to in my opinion. Uh, it runs a lot cooler than most. 
uh, has good compression. Um, great head. Love the look of it. I think overall that to me is my favorite. The ashtray one, it runs a little hot because of that big block as I thought it would, you know, because that big block of aluminum. Uh, if this is a style for you and the heat, you know, if you're you know, I don't know if you're going long distances, I, you know, I don't know in town where it could, you're starting and stopping more, it could heat up. I, I think possibly, you know, test it out, but, um, it's a cool look. You should try it out and see for yourself what you think. I also think the same for this pancake design. If it's a, a look that you like, then I think it'd be a fine head. You know, it's definitely durable and everything, but, you know, um, if that's for you, then that's one to check out. Now this really surprised me. You know, when I put it on there and started running it or whatever, I just felt like the acceleration was was better <laughs> as I pulled the throttle. Uh, I, and then that you saw that truck pass me, right? And it kind of startled me a little bit, so I pulled the throttle down even more, and I, you know, hit what thirty seven or something like that. So. That's the first time the bike had ever done it that easily was with this. Now, I don't know if this did it or if the engine break in is just finally reaching a point where the engine is running better and better. So I have that feeling. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do a specific, I'm going to do a specific deep dive on this guy. Okay. And compare it, um, performance wise. Cause I want to know the truth about it was, did I have an experience because this is truly better or did I have an experience because the engine uh, break-in process is actually happening and it's just running better. So stay tuned for this. It's going to be a specific video all by itself, the double spark plug head. I'm excited for that one. Yeah, and the final one, the old standard head, it did really well. You know, yeah, it gets hot and everything. It doesn't dissipate heat as best, you know, as good as these. But um, yeah, it's fine, you know. The only issue I've had with some kits is maybe the machining here you know, since it's cast and they grind that flat, sometimes there's angles here that cause it to leak. Uh, so that's something you might want to watch out for. But um, yeah, always keep one of these as a, a backup just, just for cuz, right? So there you go. Those are our contenders. Here's the results. We'll put them up. Doom, doom, doom. And uh, yeah, enjoy uh, getting some heads and trying them out on your engine. Hey, so thank you for joining me on this adventure to decide which head is the best for your situation. I hope it helped you out. One of the goals for me to do this is uh, so that you know how to test the engine for yourself, like compression and, you know, heat and all that stuff. Um, yeah, so like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know any questions that you may have about all the heads that I showed today. And let's roll.